yes uh, good evening folks um, if you're in if you're in Liberia good evening to you uh, if you're in the US good evening to you uh, certainly good evening here on the East Coast um, and a couple of couple of things here I just want to so I want to do this quick live po podcast. Something very, very sensitive has come up. Very, very important. Extremely important. And it's a bombshell. Courtesy of Front Page Africa. All credit goes to Mr. Rodney here of Front Page Africa. Share the video. This is going to knock you off your seats. This I'm about to tell you. And I have the evidence right here. Uh, all credit to Rodney C of From Beach Africa, uh, and 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 <laughs> oh my God, something something terribly 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 embarrassing. So how do you all do? Uh, uh, I hope you all doing very very good. I heard today we had about what, forty new cases of the coronavirus in like in Liberia. That's that's not good at all. 40 new cases in one single day. That's a terrible, terrible thing. A uh, couple of things before the uh, podcast, be, before I do this thing, you know what we normally do? We hit a thousand before we, speak, before we speak. But what I'm about to tell you, what I'm about to present to you, the evidence that I'm about to show you is just going to knock you off your seats. It is extremely bad. It just proves yet again that this government of ours cannot be trusted and they're a bunch of criminals. So share the podcast we hit a thousand and we'll get down to business like i said we have the evidence uh it's a terrible terrible thing uh just a couple of updates so today there were two protests one was uh in the jacob town community where a number of jacob town citizens decided to stage a roadblock uh trying to uh Call the government's attention, LEC's attention specifically, because their community has been without electricity since November, and so the state of roadblock uh, in the particular area, and a couple of our people were arrested. A total of eleven of them were arrested. Noah Zau Gibson, uh, one of our strongest visually impaired supporters, and and we were quickly informed, and I dispatched our lawyer. And he went to the scene uh, and we provided some resources to help facilitate. And he did that. And Noah Zao Gibson was promptly released and uh, along with the other 10 people who were arrested. So I just want to report that to you. So he's been uh, released. Also, on the other hand, of course, I'm preparing you for when we hit a thousand views. Also, on the other hand, a number of people were protesting in town just around the foreign ministry today, and a good number of them happened to be seditions, not that the issues for which they were protesting are not important. What their singular issue is that these are the beach and waterway workers. They've been working for 21 months. The government owes them. The government has refused to pay them, and they were demanding their money. A few days ago, Actually, on the 6th of June, they called a press conference in which they said, they threatened that they were going to stage a protest on the 15th of June. Apparently, the government took them for granted. So today, true to their promise, they staged that protest. And uh, you should have seen some of the placards they were holding up. Uh, uh, this is not what we voted for you for. You have let us down and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But hey, there are Liberian citizens, regardless of the fact that many of them are seditions from Nukrotai and those places that are predominantly CDC uh, strongholds. Uh, there are still Liberians and their issues, their, their issue of not being paid for 21 months and being, uh, so, and, and, and being summarily terminated from a program that they had started working from some of, some of them since the onset of the program, which was launched. As far back as Fe February the 14th, 2009, by Binia Kesseli. Binia Kesseli launched a beach and waterway cleaning program. And these people in these communities, the local, the local people were the people who were brought up, uh, who actually came and started working with the, pro with the program. And so these are the people who are complaining today that it's been 21 months since they were paid. But hey, that's not why I'm doing this live video. The reason I'm doing this live video is to give you some very shocking, shocking, shocking information. And by the way, 
as we customarily say, once we hit a thousand before we talk, that's what we do here. Yeah. Not, not to brag, but a thousand people is quite a good number of people. Now we can talk. Folks, what I'm about to tell you is going to sicken you yet again. Except, of course, you're numb. You know, you know. Some, some, sometimes you keep pricking someone, you keep pricking someone until the person gets to a point where they can no longer feel. Well, apparently, that's what Liberians, uh, uh, that's the point we've reached, where we, we, we are pricked and we can't feel it anymore because we've been pricked so many times that we become numb. But still, this is going to hit you hard. So we've been talking about this thing, right? Uh, the government has provided $30 million to, according to them, to WFP, the World Food Program. And of this $30 million uh, thing that they provided to work to the World Food Program, they said the Minister of Commerce, Minister Wilson Tappet, appeared before the Liberian Senate a few days ago, last week actually, I believe it was on Thursday or Friday. And at the Senate, Wilson Tappet was being grilled about the government's plan, what they were going to do since the funds had been received because the government borrowed under the Rapid Credit Facility Program of the IMF, a $50 million facility. And $30 million of that money was supposedly going towards the so-called household feeding program. You all know that. So of this amount, Professor Wilson Tappen, Minister of Commerce, the chair of the COVID-19 Food Steering Committee, the one who is clothed with the authority to speak to such a matter, appeared before the Liberian Senate on Friday of last week and said that of the $30 million, $9 million was given to the World Bank to cover, I mean to the World Food Program to cover the administrative cost. You're talking administrative cost. The people who were responsible for moving the food here, doing the distribution, that sort of thing, because the government was outsourcing it. The government didn't want to have anything to do with the actual distribution. So they were outsourcing the distribution of the whole food thing because it was chaotic. They didn't have the infrastructure to do it. And so it did make sense that a war was going to be doing it. But then they said the cost is $9 million. Jesus. $9 million out of $30 million, that leaves a balance of what? $21 million. That is almost a third of that money. Almost a third of that, of that amount. So many of us have been talking about this. It's ridiculous, including their own representative, Sa, I mean, their own Senator, Sa Joseph. He did a post yesterday. For some reason, he took his post down. But he said that it was unacceptable that their government, his government, would give the, work, the, 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 the WFP this amount of money. So some of us, have not been satisfied at all. Some of us have decided to dig deeper. And one of such people is Rodney Sia. So Rodney Sia took it further. And what I have to give to you is courtesy of Rodney Sia. He's shared with me and he's doing a story on, on this. The evidence. So what Rodney Sia did, the publisher of Front Page Africa, my dear friend, he wrote WFP. He wrote the headquarters of the World Food Program, which is based in Rome, Italy. Now, Rodney didn't write WFP local office. He wrote WFP Rome. He wrote WFP Rome to say, hey, our government has said that they give you $9 million to do the food distribution. So tell us, how much did they give you? The communication officer of WFP based in Rome, Italy, replied Rottnessier's email. I have those emails right here. Rottnessier's uh, email of inquiry and uh, WFP's response to Rodney Sia. Okay. So now I'm going to read the emails for you. Your government has told you 
They gave WFP nine million dollars to do a five million, I mean to do a 30 million dollar distribution. Rodney C said, well, I'm not satisfied. I don't believe it. I'm, I'm gonna write WFP. Rodney says, I'm not even gonna write WFP Liberia. I'm gonna write the headquarters of WFP. And folks, you don't want to hear me read the email from WFP. <laughs> oh my God. The margin between what WFP, the margin between what WFP said to Rodney said that they received and what the government said they gave to WFP to cover administrative costs is so freaking large. It's crazy. The margin is so wide. It's so wide. So I'm going to read the email for you. I'm not going to talk plenty. Let me go read the email for you. So Rodney C. wrote WFP, this e email. <laughs> ah! On June 15, 1207 midday in Liberia, Rodney C. wrote this email to WFP. Hmm? This is an email Rodney C. wrote. To whom it may concern. I'm Rodney D.C., editor of Front Page Africa, Liberia's leading newspaper of record. This is an inquiry regarding controversy over, over $9 million. The World Food Program is charging Liberia to distribute food at, as part of the government stimulus program. The issue is causing a lot of controversy in the country and questions have been asked regarding the lack of transparency and accountability regarding this. Listen, folks. We need to know what is the WFP policy as it relates to food distribution. Is it a normal practice to charge a country money? In Liberia's case, $9 million to distribute food? Rodney is asking questions. Does the scene apply to the school feeding program that WFP says it implements on its website? What was the rationale behind the $9 million and how did the WFP come to that number? Rodney C is asking WFP questions. Also, we have gathered that the WFP is only purchasing rice from one importer, SWAT, for the program. Our investigation has found that the rice being purchased is one, of, is one of the least in the country at the moment and sold between $9 and $10, but WFP is actually paying $13 per bag. That's Rodney Sear. As an international organization, is it best practice to not disclose fully who the WFP is purchasing from and how did it come to the $9 million? Rodney Sear goes further. We need a response before going to press for Tuesday's edition. Awaiting a response. I'm sending to you all because it is not clear who is in charge of communications in Liberia for WFP. Everyone seems uninterested in addressing our inquiries. Now, that is an email that Rodney Sear sent to WFP. Hello? Do you want to hear the email that WFP wrote back to Rodney Sear? This is the email that Rodney Sear received from WFP. Hi, Rodney. Thanks for your message and for your interest in the work of the WFP of the Word Food Program. For future inquiries, please get in touch with our communications colleagues in Monrovia. Eduardo Tanciani. John Moniba or here for full list of UN communications people. George Fomian, our regional spokesman based in Dakar, can also help. All in CC. Now they are telling Rockness here, the next time you have inquiries for us, contact our people in Liberia 
or contact our people in Dakar, the regional office of WFP. They write further. Below written statement that address your queries. Then they wrote a statement to address Rodney C's query. Listen to the statement. WFP's top priority is meeting the food security and nutrition needs of the most vulnerable and needed communities in Liberia. WFP distributes food in a fair, gender sensitive, accountable and transparent manner to ensure that the most urgent needs are met in an equitable way and that the highest standards of assistance are applied, providing value for money to our partners who support our vital work in Liberia. WFP writes Rodney C. WFP goes ahead, goes ahead. Listen to this part, folks. Listen to this part. WFP says, WFP is not charging US $9 million to the government of Liberia. Hello? WFP, you room, the headquarters of WFP, the communications officer of WFP, right, Rodney C. back. This is what he says. WFP is not charging US $9 million to the government of Liberia. The right further. Any suggestions to the contrary are totally unfounded. WFP says any suggestion whatsoever that we are charging $9 million to the government of Liberia, WFP says those suggestions are what? Unfounded. This is WFP room saying that your government lied that they were charged by WFP $9 million. WFP says the government never paid them $9 million to distribute food. Let me read further. In Liberia, the government-led COVID-19 household food support program has a total budget of $30 million. This comprises the cost of the food basket, rice, beans, and vegetable oil, as well as the cost of storing, transporting, and delivering the assistance to vulnerable households targeted under the program. A very small percentage of the budget. Huh, the VFP is about to tell us how much money they charge the government. Hello? <laughs> The VFP is about to tell us how much they charge the government to do the food distribution. The VFP goes further. A very small percentage of the budget, around 6%. The VFP says what? 6%. Hello? 6% of $30 million is $1.8 million. What is 6% of $30 million? It's $1.8 million. Your government told you. Wasn't that stood before the Liberian Senate a few days ago and said that the government of Liberia paid WFP a total of $9 million to distribute the food. Well, the communication officer at the room headquarters of WFP, Rod Rodney C. responded to an inquiry informing Rodney C. That the WFP did not charge your government $9 million. That it charged your government 6% of the total $30 million. Do the math. What is 6% of $30 million? It is $1.8 million. Now, deduct $1.8 million from the $9 million which they are touting about as the amount which was charged them for this service by WFP. What is the margin? $7.8 million. Uh, $7.2 million. So the difference between what your government is telling you WFP charged them and what WFP actually charged them is $7.2 million. Hello, folks. $7.2 $2 million difference. The WFP charged them $1.8 million. They tell you they paid WFP $9 million. The WFP said, no, 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 Rodney C. Your government gave us $1.8 million. 
But then where the hell did the $7.2 million go? Where the hell did the $7.2 million go? Let me read the email further. Let me, let me read the email further from WFP. Hello, listen to this. A very small percentage of the budget, around 6% goes toward meeting essential minimal costs for WFP to deliver its life-saving assistance. This is standard across the countries where WFP works and is in line with international standards of aid delivery. Hello? WFP goes further. They say to Rodney, say, hey Rodney, we charge 6%. This is a universal thing. We do it all over the world. It's not just for Liberia. Every country where we go to and they ask of us such a service as what Liberia has asked of us, we charge them no more than 6%. This is a universal standard. We don't do it country by country. It's applicable to all countries in which the DFP provides this service. So how then? Why then? Did our government, led by a president who supposedly loves the country, is telling you that WFP charged the government nine million? When well, WFP said, "No, no, 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 we charge them six percent, which is one point eight million. Where is the seven point two million dollars? <laughs> Where is the seven point two million dollars? Let me read further the email from." The communications officer of WFP headquarters based in Rome, Italy. Let me read for it. Oh, right this year you did it. I mean, let me read for it. WFP applies competitive and transparent procurement processes to purchase food commodities in all its operations around the world, including in Liberia. This includes market assessments to establish standard costs, as well as robust uh, uh, scrutiny of vendors to ensure they are fit for purpose in terms of food quality and storage facilities. This safeguards the quality of WFP food as well as ensures that tendering processes do not distort local markets. WFP's expertise in procurement is more important than ever in the current situation where the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic have disrupted supply chains and created volatility in prices and availability on local and international markets. Many thanks, James Belgrave, Communications Officer, UN Food Program, Room Italy, email address James. Belgrave, B E L G R A V E at WFP.org. <laughs> Hello, folks. There you have it. Where the hell did George Weir put 7.2 million? That is a question you all need to be asking. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'm done. All thanks to Rodney C. All thanks to Rodney C. Bye.